Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about functions, specifically uh, everything you need to know for functions at GCSE level. So let's start off with what is a function. Well, uh, a function takes in an input, which could be a number, it could be a letter, it could be an expression, okay, and it will do something to it and then it will output a value. So we write functions like this, okay, so here's an example, f of x, okay, and we read that as f of x or a function of x and that's usually equal to an expression like this. Now it might look confusing if you haven't seen functions before, but really it's not much different from an equation like y equals 2x plus 3, except rather than y, we've got a function of x. It doesn't just have to be f of x. You may see something written like g of x or h of x. These are all functions, okay? They're just using different letters. So a function doesn't strictly have to be an f of x. It could be any letter you want, but the most commonly used letter to represent a function is f for whatever reason, I don't know. So in an exam, you could be asked to evaluate a function at a given point. For example, evaluate the function f of x, this one here, at the point x equals two. Or it might be written as work out f of two. They mean the same thing. And you can see, where there was an x originally in the function f of x, I've swapped it out for a two. So to work this out, all I'm gonna do is look at this expression here, and wherever there was an x originally, I'm gonna swap it out for a two. So let's do that. So two times two plus three. Well, that gives me four plus three, so seven. Let's work out f of negative two, okay? So this could be another question, evaluate the function at the point x equals negative two. Well, that's gonna be two times negative two plus three, which is negative one. But like I said, it doesn't have to be uh, a letter, a number, it could be a letter, it could be a constant, so like f of a. But this works the exact same way, we're just substituting in a letter rather than a number. So we'd get two x, uh, sorry, two a plus three. So that's how you can evaluate a function at a point, that's super easy. Another thing you might have to do is combine functions together into what's called a composite function, which literally just means multiple functions pushed together. So you can see here I've got two functions. I've got f of x equals 2x plus 3, and also g of x, which equals x squared. And we need to find the composite function, or the functions put together, f of g of x and g of f of x. So these are actually quite simple. You just need to do it step by step, and I'll obviously show you how. So for the first one, which I will highlight, this f of g of x, here's how we do it. We're gonna take function f, okay, and we're gonna put function g inside of it. So here's what it would look like. We've got f, and inside of it, we've got function g, like this. So what is function g? Well, it's written here, it's just x squared. So I'm gonna have function f, and inside of that, I'm gonna put x squared, like that. Now, if you remember in this example up here, we had a go where we put a constant inside of a function and we literally just swapped out x for whatever that was. It works the exact same way here. So you can see we've got f of x squared. Well, the function f is two x plus three. So wherever there's an x, I'm gonna write x squared. So two x squared plus three. And that's the composite function of f of g of x. So that's actually not too bad. Let's have a look at the other one, which is this one here, where we've got to do g of f of x. So we're gonna start with function g this time. And inside of that, we're gonna write function f. So that's gonna become, well, g of f of x, like this. And so what is function f? Well, that's just two x plus three. So we've got function g, and inside of that, we're gonna write two x plus three like that. So what was function g? Well, you can hopefully still see it. it's x squared. So we're going to do wherever there's an x, we're going to write 2x plus 3. So we're going to get 2x plus 3. And that's all going to be squared. And that's it. That's the composite function g of f of x. Hopefully that's not too tricky either. It can look a bit difficult, but just do it step by step. Uh, and it will usually be fine. Inverse functions is the final thing I'm going to talk about. So if we've got a function here, so if f of x equals x plus three all divided by two, find f to the minus one of x, and this minus one just means we're finding the inverse. That's how we write the inverse of a function. And I'll find the inverse, I'll teach you how to do that, and then I'll talk about what the inverse actually does. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take the original function, okay? And we're gonna, wherever there's an f of x, we're gonna write x like that. 
and then we're going to write wherever there's an x in the original function, we're going to write y. So we're going to get x is equal to y plus 3 all divided by 2. From here, we're going to rearrange this to make y the subject. So to do that, I could times both sides of this equation by 2, and we get 2x equals y plus 3, and then I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we get 2x minus 3 equals y. Now, I'm nearly done. All I need to do is, wherever there's a y, I just need to swap it out for my inverse function like this. So the inverse function is 2x minus 3. So let me highlight both the function and its inverse. So here's the function and his, whoops, here's the function and then there's its inverse. So let's see what this does, right? Say I work out f of five. Well, that's five plus three divided by two, which is just gonna be four. Now let's work out the inverse function, okay, at the point four. So that gives me, well, four times two is eight, subtract three is five. And you might notice that they give opposites of each other. So if I take my output of the function and put it into the inverse, it will get, take me back to what I started with. So that's what the inverse function does. So hopefully that was useful. If it was, subscribe to my channel for more content and just tutorials and past papers, stuff like that. And if you want to see more exam style questions answered, go over to my TikTok. Thanks for watching.